Hello and welcome to another episode of Baldur's Gate. I'm Shox and today we are in Berigast. So we made it from Candlekeep over to the Friendly Armin, picked up Chahira um, and Khalid and now uh, went down to Berigast. Unfortunately, we lost Xar in High Hatch to a spider. So... Um, and, and we're also a little bit of injured here, so I think the first thing to do is to go to the temple that's supposedly to the east of Berigost and try to revive Xar. And we can talk to a lot of people here, <clears throat> so we will do that once our party is complete again. And I think we have to just be much more careful. Uh, when, when enemies are attacking us, when we are kiting or, or um, similar things, we have to make sure that the very weak characters like Sar or Jahira stay very, very far out of the way. And maybe also switch more people over to melee and let them attack first. So they draw all the aggro. And... I think the issue was the spider just went for someone they saw. I think it was um, Jahira walking very far out of her way. Um, that kind of was bad for her because the spider was just charging at her and we couldn't keep the aggro. Um, and while she was running away, she was like, you know, running towards everyone else. And eventually Xar got hit once and, and just died, which was pretty bad. All right, let's go to the temple and see if we can revive him and how much poorer we are after that. Um, who are we talking to? Kildath Amurus. Yeah, let's just talk to him. To a hell come. The traveling adventurer is never turned away from a house of Lothander. As we strive to aid all who make a difference in the realms. If you are battleborn, we can extend a number of necromatic restorations, whatever you need. A small donation is all the compensation that we require. Well, that is perfect. What kind of aid can you give us? All right, um, we need raise dead. I'd say. Oh, can nobody? Oh, we have to select him. So I think Jira. Actually, he is much more expensive to raise. So if... I'm not sure if he's level two already. Everybody else is 100. So let us raise Xar from the dead. Still very much injured, so we shouldn't get into a fight. Otherwise, I think we have enough potions of healing. Stone to flesh scroll. What does that one do? The scroll will remove the effects of petrification from anyone afflicted by such an unfortunate condition. Simply approach the victim who has been turned to stone, read the scroll, and target the statue. Hmm. I wonder if, like, Many statues around Baldur's Gate actually are just, you know, someone has ha being petrified. So I don't know if we can talk to anyone else in here. Yeah, we, we're just, um, we're basically done here, so let's get out of here. Something troubling. Ah, oh, he's still in here. Hardly worth my time. And go back to the city and actually figure out what is there in Berigost. Um, sell all the stuff we found on the way. And maybe also even uh, find some better gear, which would be very nice indeed. Uh, we also I might take a look. Seem, uh, confrontational, but uh, could you be a little less, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Your evil? wit be as sharp as my blade. Do we exchange jabs or will you cease your prattle? All right, they're still, you know, going at each other. Uh, we should take a look how we distribute our front line, so maybe Montarion will mostly use his uh, sword and we might give him a shield as well, just so we have a strong front line, or maybe make him dual wield as well. Let's see what his proficiencies are. Short sword sling. There's no proficiencies in in any dual wielding or something like that. So we might either consider giving him a shield, uh, absolutely better armor. Yeah, let, let's just see what we can find. Back to Berigost and explore the city because 
we really didn't get a chance to um, to do anything here. We just went to the temple and uh, revived Xar. Let's go in here, Smithy. Smith. Hello, friend. What can I do for you this day? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> you can get out of my face is what he can do. I'll summon you when I need you. Wow. <laughs> Someone does not have a good day if, if they like start like that. Um... I'd say, I'd, you know, no need to trouble yourself. I'm just browsing about your smithy. I've heard much about it. Oh, it's a trouble at all. I expect nothing but the best in service from the Thunderhammer smithy. Best armors in the land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak to Tamram himself. Well, let us do that right now. Kiss me, Vlarmy. What you wish done? Hello there. Is there anything I can do for you on this fair day? Uh, could you show us what you have for sale? Ah, oh, there you go. So first, I think we want to... Is this any better? It is a special short sword. Huh. Oh, it's just general. Um, I don't think it's any different to the, the normal short sword we have right now. It is 1d6 and speed factor 3. And yes. if we look at this one it is 1d6 speed factor 3. So yeah, I don't think there's any difference. So there shouldn't be an issue um, just selling it. Especially when it's only worth like 5 gold, it can't be that special. Uh, I think we, we got rid of all the throwing daggers, we do not need those anymore. But yeah, let, let's see what you have. Do you have anything really special that we should buy? Uh, we were thinking of composite longbows. For, for him, 150 gold pieces. Right now the longbow, Thacko plus one, speed factor seven. And the composite longbow, Thacko plus one and plus two damage. So he would inflict plus two damage on every shot, which is quite a bit actually. So I, I think I wanna buy the, the composite longbow for him, sell the normal longbow. And then take a look. So we sling plus one. Stack up plus one, damage plus one missile. I think that's a very good one for um, for him, actually. Because he has plus two in sling, that'd be a plus three damage to what the, the bullets usually do in damage. And there's also a bunch of really expensive errors. The flight arrow, as its name implies, is built for distance. These are lightweight arrows and are often used for hunting. Most of these arrows are made of ash or burk and are 30 to 40 inches long. So, um, they're just, in general, I think, more damage. Plus one more damage, plus one Thacko. And they also have special bullets. But it's, everything is extremely expensive here, so we probably will not get too many things. Plate mail. Yeah, we, we can't quite afford anything really, really expensive here. So we um, might want to first figure out what we... Wow, 50, plus 50, like 50,000 gold. We first want to figure out what we really need for everyone else then. He already has a uh, split mail, which is pretty good. Um, I didn't see any boots or, or bracers or anything of that kind, which is kind of a shame. Um, he also, Khalid also has a splint mail, which is pretty good. Um, the medium shield, I think, is fine. I didn't see, like, a, a massive, really better one that we can afford. Armor class plus one, and I do not know if the long um, shield you wish for a wee little bit more than me is actually better. Let's take a look. So we have the medium shield, which is uh, armor class plus one. The large shield, oh, it's armor class plus one and an extra one versus missile attacks. The body shield, also known as kite or tower shield, is a massive metal or wooden shield reaching the lee from the chin of, to the toe of the user. It must be firmly fastened to the forearm and the shield hand must firmly grip it at all times. 
Naturally, this precludes use of the shield hand for anything but holding the body shield in place. I don't think it's any different with um, the medium shield as well. Mm. The medium shield is carried the same manner as a small shield. Unlike the small shield, however, its weight prevents the character from using his shield hand for anything other than carrying the medium shield. Medium shields are usually made of metal range from 3 to 4 feet in diameter and can be of any shape, from round to square to dragon spread wings. A typical medieval shield resembles a triangle with one point facing downward. So yeah, this one has armor class plus one and a large shield. Here has armor class plus one and an extra one versus uh, missile attacks. And there's a... Yeah, I think there's no difference. These are all the same wooden large shields that have armor class plus one um, and plus one versus missile. That's one more thing. Let's check his armor. It is studded leather armor, armor class 7. So if we can get something better for I him, that for would be nice. For a wee little bit more than me so we have... Chainmail is 5. Splintmail is 4. So if we give him a splintmail, he can also be in the front row fighting. But if we give him... If we buy him the... The sling plus one, he would actually be very good in the distance as well. So I'm I'm actually tempted to do that and give it to him. Because he is um, proficiency sling uh, plus two, I think. Let's take that one and give him the sling. Oh, no, it's not him. There you go. Um, can I select it? You spoke at me. Hmm. It seems like he. I can't switch. Oh, because he has no bullets. Never mind. That's that's the reason. So let's find him some bullets. Um, preferably the oh, smithy has some. Make whatever you wish for a wee so let's bit see. More than yeah, he, he had the the really really great ones which are the bullet plus one which is a 1d4 plus two and a thack of one so they're extremely expensive for us um they're 120 gold for 10 bullets so i do not know if we really want to invest that much money into it but then again um we we might want to buy one of those and and, and uh switch them for for really uh, tough enemies, and make sure we have really good bullets um, on the person. And use those for, you know, normal day-to-day -day combat. So it's six to nine uh, when he's using the sling, and it's four to nine when he uses the sword. So it's a little more efficient. Here we, we stay with this one. I didn't see any better longsword. Uh, also, none of my weapons in a better form. The Ranger Kiwan. Uh, I think I bought him a composite longbow. Let's see if he has any proficiencies. I probably should have uh, checked it first, but yeah, he's a longbow plus plus. So two points in longbow. So I will give him a um, longbow and we have to buy more. Uh, arrows, that is. I don't think anybody has too many arrows left. We can resell the... We can resell all the things that are basically no longer used. You wish and we... Bit more than the competition. And we have to um, sell all the things we don't need anymore. Uh, we got real throwing daggers. Alright, so we, the only thing we, we need is arrows and... The question is also, do we want to... Well, I don't think we can afford any better arrows. So we just um, buy 40 arrows. Okay, uh, can I help make you? sure the right person has them, which is the ranger. Let's go to him. And 5 to 10 damage. Great. So everybody's very, very hurt. Uh, sorry, because it just got revived. And the, the rest of the uh, team or the party, because we just came from a big fight. So let's uh, make our way to the Something next 
to the next uh, inn. There should have been a merchant caravan through here just yesterday. Thought they have not arrived yet. We were supposed to bring iron down or down from the north, but they suffered the same fate as all the rest. Yeah, so it's apparently very dangerous to travel right now with all the iron shortage. Okay. This is locked. Um, I don't think we can use the ladder to go up and, and just climb around. Uh, let's see if anybody... Blasted halflings talk in circles. I know which is more treacherous, Firewind Ruins or Gulkin north of it. Keep an eye on your purse strings if you wander through that area. Alright. So I don't think they necessarily have any quests for us, so... Um... Oh, he has a name, so... Excuse me, but I must ask you to leave me be. I'm waiting for someone and do not wish to be distracted. Oh, okay. So I guess, yeah, we really um, just try to find an end and rest. I don't think um, we... There's a shop. Oh, there's the inn. So we just passed the inn. So let's just go in here and... Um, is this the inn? Oh. So this must be the inn. Let's read. Red Chef. Was that the inn? Yeah, Red Chef inn. Alright. Everybody, follow me. Let's see. Oh, where's the entrance? Oh, here. So yeah, let's get uh, some rest. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Not that it's anything personal, you understand, but I'm afraid your time on this here ball of mud is just about done. Great, so there's another assassin coming after us, and it seems like it's n just not ending. Um, I, I won't be like, whatever, you're being paid, I'll double it, because we can just beat the crap out of him. We're six people. Yes, some of us are a little beat up, but we just put them in, in the back, and, you know, our two frontline fighters should easily be able to handle that guy. I hope you've the will to back up those words. I that I do. The will and the way. Shall we get to business then? I'm sure. Yes. Let me kill you. You have need of me? I'll do my best. You go here. You go here. You just run away. You just run away. And you just run away. What do you want? And you attack. All right. Let's just tag you and see how that goes. <clears throat> oh wow, that hurt a lot. I think you should definitely uh, drink one of those. Oh, yeah, he did drink it. All right, back to. Uh, Wow, like he hits hard. That's crazy. Okay, um... I think Jahira can just do... Heal, um... Cure Light Wounds. So we want her to do that. Apply it to him. Okay, and we killed him. That second. So never mind, you can, um... How do you tell her to stop? Okay, just move. Alright, it was a tough fight. I mean, that guy was tough. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect him to be hitting that hard. But I guess that um, Axe or Halbert, whatever, um, is pretty good. Alright, let's take a look what we got here. So, Battle Axe. I don't think anybody here can use it. A medium shield that we might give to him, but I don't think um, he can use uh, he can use a secondary weapon then. So, oh, we can. That's great. So let us do that, and then we have a chainmail, which is armor class five is armor class seven. So we are going to replace that um, so the leather armor he has with the chainmail. Great. So, well, thank you very much for attacking us and leaving all your crap with us. 
Don't bother me. So the question is, she, yeah, he doesn't have any spells. Jahira, I think we are still happy with all the spells we have. And actually, she can level up. So, let's see. Level up. So Jahira, she right now has two points in club and one point in quarter stuff. So I think we want to just continue with one, one weapon. I, th there's no point in, in adding more weapons to it. I also don't think she needs any uh, specific weapon style because she will be more in the back. So the question is, should we add sling? Just make it more efficient in distance. Because I think she will be more of sitting in the back. Or do we want to add to the club? I think we cannot remove them. Yeah. So I think the, the better decision is to um, add one to sling. Oh, we can't. Oh, we have a single point. Okay, that works too. All right, then I guess we just accept the level up and we couldn't actually give any uh, points to her. A stack is 19. Um, she's now 24 hit points, so that's good. She got a bunch more hit points. She's a little more beefier, I think. So um, I think we should just grab, place to rest, maybe sell our remaining stuff to the bartender. And, oh, we can't even get a royal one. They don't have one, interesting. So it's, it's not apparent, it's apparently not a very, um, you know, rich place. And he also does not sell or buy anything. Let's see if we can find uh, any rumors here. No? I hear relations haven't been going too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused Am of all the raiding that's been happening along roads. A good thing to go accusing the most powerful county country in the Western world. All right, Chira. I wonder where those bandits came from. They seem to know exactly how to escape the fist. Where do you? Where do they hide? It must be somewhere in the woods. So you know th there are hints we we get to maybe quests or other things um, that are going on in the world, and it doesn't look like we are getting any more hints so let's just grab the merchants one and rest all right so everybody is at full health again uh we might actually want to look around and see if we can steal anything if there's anything to loot here there's one box here uh, nothing in here and you can take a look at actually this is everyone take a look at this crap crate here and it's locked so let's just see if we can um, actually unlock it so we have to take our armor off to I have no wish to strain our relationship but you did promise to go to Nashkel our delays making me rather tense I'm not nice when I'm tense all right so they're they're really nagging me now to um, to actually go to Nashville and like actually get there. So the lockpicks failed. And all right, because they're so um, unnerving and really want to go to Nashville, we probably should take the request seriously. I mean, basically everybody in our party wants to go to Nashville. So I think it, it just is reasonable that we actually go to Nashville and figure out what is going on in the mines. I don't think we discovered yet what is in the south here. So let's just go to the south end and figure out how exactly we can go to Nashville. So either one of those might be the forest we just heard the rumors for. Um, or, or maybe it's like somewhere out here. Our choice is to go through High Hedge into you know the hilly areas or here. I'd say we just go south because why not? Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. This is the end of this episode. In the next one, we will continue our journey to Nashville and maybe check out this uh, area a little more, 
look into the forest and see if we can find some of the bandits. Thanks for watching, see you next time.